A very good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new Daily Market Outlook. So quite an eventful day yesterday in Ukraine once again. So a missile attack on a massive building in Kharkiv, Ukraine. So still a lot going on in Ukraine and Russia. So the markets are still very turbulent. But without further ado, let's just dive in, see what we can find within the market and what I expect. <music> So to start off with the dollar index, looking at the dollar index, we can see that we've been consolidating as of yesterday. So currently just waiting for the next impulse on the dollar index. Wouldn't personally be surprised if we do see another push down in towards lows due to the fact that there's not a lot of demand left. However, what we do have to keep in mind is pretty much that this sell before the buy was what took out this high over here, this internal high. So there is some demand, but personally, I do think, and I would not be surprised if we do see a push down lower due to the fact that there's just not a lot of demand left inside of um, yeah this area of demand. So let's see if we can get that push down lower. If we get that push down lower in towards here, then I will be looking for further longs on the dollar index. So yeah, that's pretty simple, but that is it for the dollar. So with that said, let's head over to Aussie dollar and Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar is currently nearly creating a new higher high in comparison to this high over here. So once we see close above the line, it means that we will have a new higher high. Looking at the daily real quick, what we can see is that it's pretty likely that we're going to see a further push up in towards this supply zone and potentially even hit this supply zone over here due to the fact that this area of supply is just simply not fresh anymore and can't really, in my opinion, cause for a massive reversal. So personally just waiting for this area of supply to get hit or this supply zone above or even that highest supply zone over here so we have one two and then a third supply zone and from all of these supply zones i will be looking for shorts not really interested in shorts at this supply zone anymore due to the fact that we're just not fresh anymore and preferably when trading supply zones on the four hour i really want to focus on fresh supply zones with fresh daily zones so as you can see those were the fresh daily zones. Now looking at the four hour, what do we want to see? Well, what we want to see is essentially a close above here, potentially a push up higher in towards this daily zone. And then from there, start seeing that pullback back down, breaking this low at a certain point in time, then seeing a pullback and then further short. So yeah, pretty boring market, Aussie dollar wise. Um, yeah, the four hours just still bullish, daily still bearish. So it's kind of contradictive when trading and we just need to wait for a fresh area of supply to get hit. So yeah, your dollar is next. And your dollar, so your dollar pumping up in towards the highs, currently waiting for this area of supply to get hit. And from there, we will be looking for potential shorts. At the moment, nothing to be traded over here for me personally, just gonna be waiting until we see a tap in towards that supply zone, and then I will be looking for further shorts. Uh, daily still bearish four hour is also bearish of course so looking at the daily we can still see that it is likely that we will see that further push down in towards this major supply zone over here so yep yeah, that is it for euro dollar let's go to pound dollar so yeah pound dollar waiting for further upside was trying to get into a long this morning however sadly failed um due to yeah maybe just being uh, awake too late and of course the entry just occurring too early um, it's just how you see it but whatever still waiting for further upside on pound dollar and expecting further upside to fill this clean move and see a push in towards that massive supply zone over there from where we expect potential further downside so that is what i'll be looking for on pound dollar just waiting for a potential entry to go long so yeah that is it from pound dollar let's go to kiwi dollar and Kiwi dollar, so Kiwi dollar came in towards the zone. As you can clearly see, liquidation of this high straight away reaction once coming in towards that supply zone. However, entry would have occurred during Asian session. Personally, do not trade that. So, not really interested in Kiwi dollar anymore at the moment. I am just keeping in mind that we could see a sell off in the near future. We kind of have this ascending wedge formation, which I'm going to be keeping an eye out for. So, we could see a potential sell off on a Kiwi dollar in the near future. Um, from let's say this area of supply, this highest refined area of supply on the one hour. Just keep in mind though that the four hour is still um, bullish internally. So what do I mean by that? Well, we've got to push up, pull back, push up, pull back, push up, pull back. So essentially uh, this is just your low over here. This is your swing high internally. 
Of course, we're still bearish on the four hour with this being the impulse and this just all being a pullback. But still, you would, of course, prefer for us to, let's say, break this low, then wait for a pullback and then get involved because then also internal structure is going to be aligned with external structure. However, what I'll just be waiting for potentially is a close above this high. And if we close above it, that means that we have a new low internal. That will be this low and then we'll get the possibility of an entry sooner than having to wait for, let's say, this low. But yeah, if we move up higher in towards, let me say, this area of supply on the four hour over here, number two, then I'll be looking for shorts from there. As that is a high probability shorting area, as it is at very good value, it's in line with the four hour and the daily uh, and therefore a great area to go short from, in my opinion. So pretty much just going to be waiting for there unless we see a change in structure over here. Then I'll be looking for shorts over here. So yeah, that is it from Kiwi Dollar. Let's over to gold. And gold, last but not least, just ranging really uh, yeah, badly, to be honest. As we can see, no movement at all on gold. Potentially just waiting for further downside before looking for any potential longs as of now. So no longs on the board as of now. Also no shorts. Just don't ask me, oh, Fabio, should we buy or should we sell gold? It's a stupid question. Um, just wait for the market to do its thing. As we can clearly see, we're just consolidating. For me personally, like if you trade the lower time frame, of course you could take some trades, but if you trade the four hour, this is just useless price action. I do not want to be trading this. So yeah, best to stay out of gold and pretty much just focus on, let's say pound dollar, euro dollar or Kiwi dollar. So yeah, that is it for today, guys. And thank you so much once again for tuning in and I wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks guys.